So, video three, I think. Welcome back. I've got this ambition. I've got this project. It's massive. It's so massive that I become paralysed and I can't do anything. I reckon some other people in the world have felt like that before, and this is what I think you should do about it. So having got myself from being inspired to have the idea and to say this is what I want to do, I then managed to get myself in this really horrible place where I couldn't do anything. I felt completely stuck. It, I didn't know where to begin, I didn't know what to do. I, knew, I still had the desire to do it, but I didn't know where to go. So this is my solution. Um, pretty straightforward really. I started writing the plan down. I knew at some point I would want to play at an open mic night in order to beat the nerves. I knew at some point I would need to learn some songs. I knew at some point I would need to recruit a band. So I just wrote all these things down as I thought about them. Then I went back to that list and I rearranged them and I put them in a logical order. And as I did so, I thought of new things and I added those in too. And then I started to expand on each thing and make the, the things that you're going to do really, really clear. How will you know when you've succeeded? How will you know when that box is done? Because I could play open mic nights forever and never move any further down the list. What use is that? The idea is I'll play open mic nights until I feel confident. So I've got an end point. Now by putting a clear deadline on it like that, it forces me to get to the point. I can look at this plan at any point and go, right, what's next? When have I got to do that by? And it, it's actually quite motivating. Now, of course, that's specific to me because the skills that I don't have are, I'm, I'm nervous in front of an audience, I'm, I don't think I'm a good enough singer yet, and I don't think I'm a good enough guitarist yet. So playing at an open mic night, singing and playing guitar, will sort of address all of those issues. And the rehearsal run up to them will address all of those issues. Skills. The skills I don't have are the ones that this plan addresses. So, having got your initial splurge out there, go back, look at your skill set, make a list of things you can do, make a list of things you can't do, and then rejig your plan so that it forces you to address the things that you can't do. To recap, get it all out of your system, just go for it, write down everything you can think of, come back, put it in an order, set your objectives really clearly, set your time limits for those objectives, keep adding to it as you think of things while you're doing that, then go and look at the skill set, go back to the original goal and say, right, what is it I have already that allows me to get to that goal? What don't I have? And then add into the plan things that make you get those skills and again put them in order and just keep going around that process of redrafting the plan and adding to it until you've got a plan then this is the clever bit you pretend that none of that plan is there and you only look at part one you play a trick on yourself forget the band forget who's going to be in it Forget making a website. Come back to the first thing. The first thing is, for me, go to an open mic night. I did that Tuesday. The second thing is, get the sheets. I've got them. The third thing is, change the key of the sheets. I haven't done that. That's the next thing for me, is find keys. And I'm not going to think about the rest. Because if I think about the rest, it starts to become overwhelming. And you might find the same thing too. Right, thanks very much for watching. And... Um, Catch you later.